Good day everyone, I'm Hanilin Arasco from Patasanes National High School and from Grade 8, Lyra. I will recite what is an educated Filipino from Francisco Benitez. What is an educated Filipino and what qualities should distinguish him today? The conception of education and what an educated man is varied in response to fundamental changes in the details and aims of society. In our country and during this transition stage in our national life, what are the qualities which an educated man should possess? Alteration in our social life. Great changes have taken place in the nature of our social life during the last 40 years. The contact with Americans and, civil and their civilization has modified many of our own social customs, traditions and practices, some for the worse and many for the better. The means of communication have improved and therefore better understanding exists among the different sections of our country. Religious freedom has developed religious tolerance in our people. The growth of public schools and the establishment of democratic institutions have developed our national consciousness both in strength and solidarity. Education has changed in meaning. With this growth in national consciousness and national spirit among our people, we witness the corresponding rise of a new conception of education. The training of the individual for the duties and privilege of citizenship, not only for his own happiness and efficiency, but also for national service and welfare. In the old days, education was a matter of private concern. Now, it is a public function and the state not only has the duty but it has right as well to educate every member of the community, the old as well as the young women as well as men, not only for the good of the individual but also for the self-preservation and protection of the state itself. Our modern public school system has been established as a safeguard against the shortcomings and dangers of democratic government and democratic institutions. Practical activity in the light of social changes, we come again to question, what is the quality should distinguish the educated Filipino of today? I adventure to suggest that edu Educated Filipino should first be distinguished by the power to do. The Oriental excels in reflective thinking, he is an philosopher. The Occidental in the doer, he manages things, men, and affairs. The Filipino of today needs more of his power to translate reflection into action. I believe that we are coming more and more to conviction that no Filipino has the right to be considered educated unless he prepared and ready to take an active and useful part in the work, life, and progress of our country as well as in the progress of the world. The power to do embraces the ability to procedure and up to support oneself and to contribute to the economic development of the Philippines. Undoubtedly, a man may be and often is an efficient producer of economic goods and at the same time, he may not be educated. But should we consider it a man who is utterly unable to support himself and is an economic burden to the society in which he lives as educated merely because he possesses the superficial graces of culture. I hope that no one will understand me as saying that. The only sign of economic efficiency is the ability to procedure material, goods for useful social participation may take the form of any of, any of the valuable services rendered to society through such institution as, as the home, the school, the church, and the government. The mother, for example, who prepares wholesome meals, 
take good care of her children and trains them in the moral and right conduct at home, renders efficient service to the country as well as the statesman or the captain of industry, I would not make the power to do the final and only test of the educated Filipino. But I believe that in our present situation is the fundamental and basic. Acquaintance with native history and culture. The educated Filipino in the second place should be distinguished not only by his knowledge of the past and of current events in the world, process, progress, but more especially by his knowledge of his race, high people and high countries, and his love of the truths and ideals that our people have learned to cherish. Our character, our culture, and our national history are the core of national life and consequently of our education. I would not have the educated Filipino ignore the culture and history of other lands. But can be he afford to be ignorant of the history and culture of his own country and yet call him educated? Refinement in speech and conduct. The educated Filipino, in the third place, must have ingrained in his speech and conduct those elements that are everywhere recognized as accompaniments of culture and morality, so that possessing the capacity for self, entertainment, and study, he may not be at the mercy of the pleasure of the senses only or a burden to himself when alone. There are then at least three characteristics which I believe to be evidence of the educated Filipino. The power to do, the support himself and contribute to the wealth of our people, acquaintance with the world progress, especially with that of his race, people, and the community together with love of our best ideas and tradition and refined manners and moral conduct as well as the power of growth. So that's all. Thank you.